this red. Let's pop this nose out for we possibly potted here. Let's place around the back of the black. Oh, wonderful shot. <laughs> wonderful shot from Jack Lazowski. So he gets first chance. a little grimace on the face of Robert Milkins as he went back to his chair after making oh. that break. He knew the red was there for the taking. Five. The thing is, this won't have surprised Milkins because he's seen this at close quarters. Lazowski's seen it the other way as well. They're both uh, such attacking, talented players. But Lazowski has really pulled himself together after failing to make it 2-2. Misframe ball, that's all gone. And that's the big test, isn't it? It's how you respond in adversity. Well. Well, that was a lovely little shot there as well. Just to hold the cue ball for that red. Didn't have to play the cannon. It's just beautiful queuing and touch feel he's got to maybe play a little cannon here what's he going to play yeah there's still quite a bit of work to do here 20. wrong angle on the red to stay in the black went into the pack a few frames ago and unfortunately for him he potted a red as well what's he going to do here great shot well this is the thing that you have to credit him with he's always looking to win isn't he, he never goes into his shell and here he's given himself every chance Seven. Yeah, and even though, you know, he potted a red off the last time he split the pack like that, there was no hesitation. He was going into the pack full-blooded and great to see. Now, does this red pass any of the ball colours into the corner pocket? He's having a look to see, does it pass the green? It must be pretty tight. No, it's OK. We can drop on that red. This is where he has to hold his concentration once again. Thirty-two. It's not the difficult shots that has cost him tonight. It's some of the easier ones. Thirty-three. Yeah. Played that beautifully. Slightly awkward queuing, bridging over that pink. Got to be careful. So Milkin's hoping for a late twist. We've seen a couple in this match, but it's got to be said, Lazowski is looking very confident now. The way he's won the last two frames, he's completely changed his whole mood in the match. 41. Yeah, and the good thing about the tracks perspective is that he doesn't need any more cannons he just hasn't come high enough on this red but wanted to be straight so he could just run through for the black maybe a slight angle on it yeah now he's got to judge a little cannon off the reds have a look at this and he's judged it beautifully good shot
Well, this could be the frame winning shot. If he can pot this black into the two reds that are close together in that little bunch of five. Just gotta he's gotta play it with enough pace just to separate the cue ball from them. And if he lands on a red, it should be a telling shot. And has he done? He has. Beautiful little shot that. 56. 57. Well, he was 3-1 down to a great clearance, and he was 51 points behind in the next. Looking down and out, Rob Milkins missed unexpectedly. And since then, Lazowski has been sensational. He has played quite brilliantly, 64. and he's two balls away from winning the match in style. Five. Big question was asked, and my word, as he supplied the answer. Stupendous performance, it has to be said, from 3 1 down. He was 46 0 down. Made a wonderful 60 clearance. Made a wonderful 102 in the following frame. 70 and counting here. 70. Exemplary. Yeah, he kept his head up. He didn't get on his own case. 71. And he has played three wonderful frames. And Robert Milkins, I mean, he, you know, he hasn't done anything wrong. He's only broke off in this frame. Had his chance. A 3-1 up. Missed an easy red. 78. And from then on, he sat in his chair. 79. Incredible turnaround, this. And this is why we eulogise about Jack Lazowski and his talent and what he's capable of. It's just so good to watch. 86. 86. He's disappointed to miss that, but he's delighted with the way he's finished. Nice end between two good friends, but Jack Lazowski so impressive from 3-1 down.